Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about zeroing in your AK-47, uh, specifically uh, at what distance you should zero it in and uh, what your point of aim should be. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to say is that um, if you're using a side rail mount, get rid of it and get yourself um, uh, you know, a mount where you can mount it on top of your, your gas tube. That's really the best place to put this. Uh, I have the one from Midwest. The nice thing about it is it doesn't exact it doesn't sit exactly on the gas tube because that can get hot. So so basically it sits above it and there's a little bit of space in between. Uh, it is co-witnessed to the iron sights, so that's that's really cool. Um, and basically with the side mount, what happens is it's only basically secured on one side. I mean if you push down on it, you'll see it moves when you're shooting. It has to, you know it's gonna vibrate a little bit. Um, with this type of a system where it goes on top of your gas tube, it's basically, it's bolted in from both sides. So this is a much more stable platform. Basically, it is all clamped out to the barrel. So this is a good place for it to be. Um, and um, I'm getting three and a half inch groups very consistently with this, okay? Um, this is the first one I shot, three and a half inches off to the left, okay? Then I adjusted a little bit, three and a half inches, you know, moved in a little bit, and then I did it again. Where's the last one? And I came in over here, okay? And uh, I'm still not happy with this. I'm still going to adjust it a little bit. Uh, but let's talk about uh, what distance I'm zeroing in at, okay? Uh, and basically for zeroing in, um, the best thing to do is basically do what the Russians want you to do. Basically, the, the, the Russians intended for their AK-47s to be zeroed in at 100 meters, okay? That's why... The, if you look on the rear sight, the increments on the rear sight, they're basically in meters. Those aren't yards. Those are meters, which is important because if you're ever at a range where they have the distances marked out in yards, you got to make sure that you convert that over to meters so it will match up to your rear sight. Um, so that's the first thing. We want to basically zero this in at, um, at 100 meters. Um, and, uh, you know, basically what you can do is if you're shooting at, let's say, uh, 50 yards, uh, what you want to do is get a zero that's about an inch low, okay? If you're an inch low, that should pretty much get you almost centered at, you know, at, at 100 yards, um, 100 meters, and basically you want to work from there, okay? So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a 100 meter zero. Uh, now, as far as what type, you know, what your point of aim is, okay? Where do you want to aim this? Now, the, you know, normally when we shoot, the AR-15, right? Um, like I like to shoot. I like to use a 50-yard zero, which gives me a second zero at 200 yards. Okay, so I zero in at 50 yards. Um, the cool thing about the AR-15, because the bullet is going so fast, it's going like 3,000 feet per second. Um, it's really flat, and basically, if you have a 50-yard zero, okay, um, if you shoot from anywhere from zero distance, from point blank range. All the way out to 250 yards you, basically at most the bullets gonna rise about five inches and you'll drop about five inches okay so let's say you're aiming here okay so so if you're shooting at point-blank range what's gonna happen is you'll probably be about three inches low you know at, at 50 yards you'll be on target uh, at let's say 100 yards you'll be about three inches high or four inches high uh, at about 150 yards, you'll be maybe about five inches high. At 200 yards, you'll come back to a zero. At at at, uh, at 250 yards, you'll be about four or five inches low. Okay, so from zero distance all the way out to 250 yards, you're gonna be within 10 inches on an AR-15 shooting the 5.56 caliber. Okay, so that's great. That really works. That that 50 yard zero works great for an AR-15. For the AK-47, the bullet's going uh, slower. It's going about, let's say, uh, 2,000 feet per second, which means it's dropping faster. So what, what I find is that that type of the zero doesn't work. The the, the 100 meter zero, 100 yard, depending on what type of, you know, we'll talk about using the yards in a minute. The 100 meter zero will get you in a good place where you can also, where you can use the, the rear sight adjustment on your, um, uh, on your AK, okay? Now, as far as your point of aim, where do you want to aim? Well, basically, because the bullet is dropping so, f you know, it's dropping much faster than a 5.56 caliber, what you want to do, if you're shooting a man-sized target, basically, you want point of aim to be at the belt buckle 
point of impact to be at the chest okay um, so that's at that's at the uh, at the 100 meters what that means is that um, you know out to let's say 150 meters you know basically the bullets gonna rise and they will drop so all the way from from, from you know out to 150 meters maybe even pushing it to 200 meters you know you should be able to, to hit a man all right from from, from groin to, to head you should be able to, to, to hit it so so that's the benefit of zeroing in at the at the belt buckle okay um, so that's why what, what I advise now beyond that um, I recommend using a red dot with the ACCS reticle okay it works exceptionally well on an AK-47 because you know, basically, when, when the Russians designed this, they saw that the bullet drops pretty fast. So, they, 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 in their wisdom, they saw fit to put uh, the, the, the the sliding indicator on the rear um, on the rear sight to help people out with you know um, you know with shooting at distances. So, what I did is I basically took their advice and I got a red dot that has a similar system. Okay? So, I'm using the Howison uh, Howison 503G. Uh, it has the ACCS reticle. I've done a prior video on this. If you guys want to see the details, uh, but basically, um, it has a, a reticle that looks like this. Okay, so you basically you got a big circle here, a big horseshoe, which is really great if you're shooting, let's say, 30 yards close in. Like if I'm shooting at those rims over there, which are 30 yards, basically I just put put the, the rims inside the circle, easy to shoot. Um, at the 100 yards, okay. Uh, what I'll do is I'll basically put the arrow, the tip of this arrow, underneath the paper that I'm shooting at. Now, I'm I'm shooting at paper, so this is what I'm working at. Uh, if I was shooting a man-sized target, I like I said, I'd put it at the belt buckle. But because my primary focus is on paper, I want to be able to hit this paper uh, anywhere from zero range um, out to you know out to 150 yards. Okay, so. So, so this is the reason why I kind of zero in the way I do. Um, I put my red dot at the bottom over here, or the chevron at the bottom, and I want my bullets to impact all the way at the top up, up here, right? at the 110 yards that, that I normally shoot at um, up here. So what that means is that, that at further distances, basically if I'm shooting, let's say, 150 yards, there's a good chance that it will be somewhere near the bottom of this paper, okay? Now, if um, using this system, if I'm shooting out to 250 yards, uh, basically what the what this what this reticle tells us in the guide is basically I want to match up the bottoms of the chevron to the bottoms of this paper, okay? And that'll give me a good chance of getting on the paper. Uh, if I'm shooting, let's say 300 yards, now mind you, this reticle is in yards; it's not in meters. This is in yards. So so at so at at, two, at 300 yards. Um, I want to use the first dot, okay, at 400 yards, the second dot, uh, and at 450 yards, I want to use the third dot, okay? So, so that's the cool thing about this. It gives you a bullet drop compensator um, that works really great with an AK-47 shooting the, you know, the 762 by 39 because that, that bullet drops. So, so, so this is a really good tool. Uh, this is probably... Um, the, um, like basically, I could have put this this on, on an AR-15, but it really didn't make sense because the AR-15 is, sh is shooting pretty flat. It makes a lot more sense for me to have this ACCS reticle on my AK, uh, which will help me take shots out to you know 450 yards. Okay. Now, one of the things, one of the nice things is that um, if you're using this Midwest rail, it will tow witness to your iron sights. Um, now, if you want to basically uh, um, let's say you want to, you know, uh, confirm it. Let's say you're, you're shooting this bottom dot here, right? Let's say you want to match up your bottom dot um, to your um, to your rear sight. Keep in mind that this is in meters. That reticle is in yards. So um, if I'm using the bottom dot, which is 450 yards, I have to convert that, and, and 450 yards equals 400 meters. So I'd have to put this to the 400 meter mark. Uh, in, order, in order for the two to basically co-witness. Um, it's not gonna be perfect, but it will be pretty close, and that's pretty cool. Um, now, one of the things to be aware of, if you decide to get this red dot, um, this, uh, this house on uh, 503G for your AK, keep in mind that the, 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 the picture that you're gonna see is not gonna be this perfect. Um, the, uh, you know, basically, the, these, these three dots kinda blur in, 
So basically, what you, it, it, it kind of looks like a solid arrow, but you can kind of, you know, you can kind of figure out where the dots are, even though it doesn't look, you know, picture perfect like this. Um, and, and with a little practice, you can really make this work for you, okay? Uh, so uh, just to recap, uh, as far as zeroing in, I recommend the 100 yards or the 100 meters. Um, and um, uh, basically, you want to, whatever, whatever target you're shooting, whether it's a man-sized target, you know, go to the belt buckle. If it's, if it's paper, you know, put your red dot underneath the paper. You want to get as, as low on the paper as possible. You know, get your red dot as low on the paper as possible underneath it, basically. So it's sitting on top. And try to, and try to get your bullets to impact uh, as high as possible and still be on the paper. Um, and that will give you, you know, that will give you the ability to shoot further distances and still be on the paper, okay? Um, those are my thoughts on that. If you have any comments or questions, please post them. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Talk to you guys next time.